This blogger is known for his confrontational style. In court today, his defense attorney said he is a news reporter protected by the First Amendment. Prosecutors said he crossed the line. Supporters of the blogger honked and demonstrated outside the courthouse in Stoughton as Aiden Kearney was led inside wearing handcuffs. We got your back, Aiden. On social media, Kearney goes by the name Turtle Boy, and for months he's been following the case of Karen Reed, who's accused of killing a Boston police officer in 2022. Kearney insists Reed is innocent and that investigators have engaged in a cover up. And they will never shut me up. They will never, ever, ever stop me from reporting the truth. But prosecutors say Kearney has gone beyond reporting and has been harassing and intimidating a state police investigator, that investigator's wife, as well as several witnesses in the Reed case. They say he has been calling them, following them, and revealing private information about them and their families. And they say he's been telling tens of thousands of his followers on social media to do the same. It appears that in the past he's encouraged his followers to take uh, various actions with respect to witnesses in this matter. The judge agreed to release Kearney without requiring him to post bail, but under orders to stay away from the specific people named as Kearney's alleged intimidation victims. Kearney promised to continue what he has been, which prosecutors say includes online fundraising to the tune of $5 million so far. What an absurd and ridiculous, I wish, I wish. No, I have not made $5 million off of this. How much have you made? I have no idea how much you make. Prosecutors say one of Kearney's followers is a police dispatcher in Avon and that that dispatcher accessed a private law enforcement database in order to provide Kearney with information about the witnesses' vehicles. The Avon Police Department told us late today that a police dispatcher has been placed on paid leave pending an ongoing investigation.